subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Today we are going to discuss about the longevity diet, the diet that helps us to live longer. And we will also try to see, we'll take a critical look to the Indian diet, general Indian diet, that what can be changed to make sure that Indians in general are living a long, healthy life uh, by supporting with good nutrition and also the other factors that is associated. Before we go ahead with the dietary part, that what food should be eaten and what not, we will look at the life expectancy and healthy life expectancy data from the year 2019-20 by the World Health Organization that has reported life expectancy of an Indian, average Indian by birth as 70.8 years, which is lesser than the uh, general global average, though uh, Indians have gained more expectancy in the last two centuries, but it is lesser than the global average according to 2019 and 20 data. Now, human life expectancy depends on multiple factors. A review study by Giram T. et al. in the year 2018 assessing life expectancy in low and median human development index countries investigated health indicator data of 83 countries from the database of World Bank, World Health Organization, United Nations Development Program, and UNICEF. The authors reported socioeconomic status healthcare system, access to healthcare, adult literacy rate, disease burden, and their interaction as major determinants of life expectancy. Now, world's biggest killers or cause of deaths, we can say, are associated to unhealthy food choices among other contributing factors. Now, according to the WHO's latest fact sheet, which is being published on 13th of April, 2021, non-communicable diseases, or we call them NCDs, contribute to 71% of global deaths. Annually, around 15 million people aged 30 to 60 years die prematurely from NCDs, 85% of which are from lower and middle income countries. Cardiovascular diseases are the most prevalent cause of death across the globe, followed by cancers, respiratory diseases, and diabetes. These four groups alone are responsible for 80% of all premature deaths. Potential risk factor of all these non-communicable diseases include lack of physical activity, poor dietary choices, harmful use of alcohol, tobacco use, etc. So here we understand that to ensure a long life, the importance of diet is very, very crucial. Now, let us take a look to the literature or the recent reports, whether Indians are eating healthy to support longevity. Now, a 2020 study by Manika Sharma and her colleagues comparing the Indian diet with the Eat Lancet reference diet, which is a global diet that ensure good health. Samples, uh, they have taken the samples from 0.102 million households of in India and found that consumption of whole grains was much more higher than the, the reference value given by the eat reference Lancet diet, whereas the comparison of fruits, vegetables, legumes, meat, fish, and eggs were much lower. Protein share was only 6 to 8% in compared to 29% of the reference. So the total protein intake uh, should be 29% of daily calorie as decided or referenced or uh, referred by the Eat Lancet diet, but the Indian households were only consuming six to 8% of it. These outcomes were independent of socioeconomic status. That means 
even people who were richest they were not consuming optimum amount of fruits vegetables and protein that that uh, tells us that the nutrition education is lacking among different socio economic strata of the country another national level cross sectional survey between 2017 and 18 by prashant mathur and his colleagues estimated the prevalence of risk factors in 12000 adult population so they tried to see that what are the main prevalent risk factors for uh, premature deaths or lower life expectancy in india and they found that 32.8% used tobacco 51.9% consumed alcohol 41.3% were not physically active 98.4% consumed less than 5 servings of fruits and vegetables per day the study also reported an elevated risk of blood glucose and cardiovascular diseases among the participants now globally uh, there are diets or the zones uh, zone specific diet which we call blue zone diets which are found to be giving someone or the people living over there longer life than expected now blue zones are the region which are found across the globe it was a concept developed by national geographic fellow and author dan butner and the there are five regions of the world where people live longer lead physically and mentally healthy lives more active compared to the other uh, population in in the globe so to live 100 years and longer the blue zones adopted nine evident based lifestyle modalities that are believed to be show showing the aging process diet being one of the most important component among this so what are they eating what it is there in the blue zone diet that is making sure that the uh, population living over there are having a healthy happy lifestyle and have a very long life now the blue zone diet is whole that is we call it a whole sum plant based 95% of daily diet is composed of vegetables fresh fruits whole grains beans legumes nuts olive oil berries oats and barley and this diet recommend avoiding meat and dairy product sugary drinks and processed food has no room in the blue zone diet now if we look at the data in contrast to this standard diet composition sardinia which is also a region of blue zone they have a variation of mediterranean style of eating than the classical blue zone diet so what they do along with all the fruits and vegetables and other thing mentioned in the blue zone diet they also consume little bit of fish and dairy and very less alcohol and red meat sometimes plant based blue zone diets are rich in antioxidant anti inflammatory polyphenols those are reported to prevent chronic illnesses such as obesity diabetes cancer and cardiovascular diseases so a 2015 review by gmps and colleagues mapped the historical evidence linked to male longevity among the sardinian population and found that an inter community nutrition transition in the history uh, where uh, a community were lead to consume more fruits and vegetables moderate consumption of meat led to significant health benefits to the aging population by reducing mortality risk however a whole sum nutritious antioxidant rich diet isn't the only secret behind the blue zone diet as i always talk about holistic well being so to have a long life longevity diet is just one component of all other components for example the people in blue zones they are engaged in high level of physical activity have low stress level they are more happy 
they have more social engagement and a sense of well-being. So what are the dietary modification Indians can do? Now, eating like a Mediterranean is recommended as part of longevity diet for Indian population. That includes more raw fruits and vegetables in salad form, whole grains instead of polished rice, legumes, pulses, beans in form of sprouts, uh, less spicy curry, they can ma make salads out of it, healthy fats from nuts, seeds, olive oil, coconut, and avocado. I know that, you know, in India, we don't consume all these uh, fruit uh, foods in general, but as we see the life expectancy that India is even below average, so there has to be some modification to make sure that the quality of life and the length of life both are elevated. Now, all processed food, which we are very much fond about, for example, refined sugar, refined wheat flour, biscuits, instant noodles, sweets, to be gradually eliminated from the daily diet. Definitely, we can have once in a while, but to ensure that we are not uh, engorged into the overconsumption, we have to make sure that we are gradually cutting down these food from our diet. List of foods can be a long list, oats, barley, joar, bajra, ragi, kodo millets, quinoa, dark green leafy vegetables, for example, spinach, lettuce, nuts uh, like almond, walnut, seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, fava beans, chickpeas, lentils, a lot of good foods or I can say nutritionally enriched food to be included in Indian diet daily. So to summarize, a vibrant, nutritious eating plan along with regular physical activity, sound sleep, and stress-free life is a key to acquire a disease-free long life. And it's time that Indians start practicing that by taking one step at a time.